Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David N. Ark. And uh, today I'm going to show you. Whoops, I'm going to stay with you. Um, today uh, I'm going to cover at least one way that I was able to figure out a problem that the LP submarine had reached out and said, How do you make AI drive over a bridge? Now, I don't know exactly what kind of bridge uh, that uh, they were making, but um, I just was playing around and uh, I don't know if this is even the right way to do this however um, I'm gonna show you what I did so there you go. <laughs> this, this may not be the official way that you make the AI drive over bridges and or how you make bridges at all however as you can see I at least made a couple of bridges or simulated sorta kinda some bridges uh, and at the same time uh, was able to get the AI to drive over them so once again I'm just gonna do this real quick up over the bridge and away we go so I'm going to uh, real quickly jump in here and show you how I did it again may not be the uh, official correct way to do it but at least it's um it, it's a way to do it right all right so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to freeze physics we're going to uh, free cam this bad boy and then we're going to jump into the editor and um, just to show you real quickly all right so if I click on the decal road all right so you can see that uh, when I laid down that decal road the uh, this is actually two separate roads here I have the outer road that goes around and then I have this road where it actually covers uh, this particular bridge but as you can see what I did was here in the ground I lowered the ground and then uh, put a bridge on it but you can see the AI path goes right over the uh, where the bridge is so I'll, I'll make another one here now again I don't know if this is the right way to do it this is just the way I got it to work and that is I laid out the path first and then I came into the uh, terrain editor and I did the lower height so that we can make a place for the bridge so I'm going to lower the height here just I'm just gonna make a spot and I'm gonna make it kind of deep just because all right so now when I let go you notice that if I come back here, you'll see that the AI path, this this um, road here, I have the nodes, and it just follows down, you know, it just follows straight down the path. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add a bridge, and again, I don't know if this is the right way to do this, it's just the way that I'm doing it. I'm actually going to use the Mesh Road Editor, which builds, um, no, I'm sorry, not Mesh Road, um, the road editor no yeah it's mesh road sorry sorry all right so what that's going to do is that's going to actually let me draw a road so i'm going to come over here to the uh, create road and then i'm going to start a little past where the bridge is going to be and i'm going to go to a little past where the bridge is going to end right so to draw the road and double click to let go all right so that should be I don't know, it looks like it's the same thickness. Obviously, the thickness is not where I thought I was. Why is the thickness? I thought that was depth. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we have a road. <laughs> all right, so one of the things, though, is, um, as you can see, if I go back to the object editor, and I go to the uh, move selection, I come over here to the mesh road, if I try to push this down notice how it all kind of disappears so one of the things that you could do is you can uh, create the uh, bend points like I did in the other bridge and so if I go back to the uh, mesh road editor and again make sure you have that one selected then I can come in here to where it has add uh, I can insert points and so I would say insert a point somewhere near where the uh, the fault line is here whatever you want to call this and so I'm gonna add a point here and then I'm going to also add one on the other side at, a, at roughly the same kind of place right 
So now what's cool about that is now I've got these points added. Now what I can do is I can use the move point tool and I can click on a point and then I can adjust that point. So notice that I can do all kinds of, <laughs> I can do all kinds of stuff, right? So I'm going to have that come down into the ground just a little bit so that that's kind of a smooth transition. Um, it's not exactly right. And as you can see, this is not quite lined up. So I might want to turn that a little bit. Now, generally speaking, you're not going to want a bridge that turns, especially with a uh, slight bump in it but eh, it, it's fine we're fine all right so i'm going to click that we're going to lower this point some again i want to see where this lines up with the uh, other road itself i think it needs to come over just a little bit as well the idea here is i'm trying to um, line the bridge up with the ai path that i already had uh, laid out here all right, because if you don't, then what's going to happen is the the AI is going to follow this node path regardless of what is in the way. So if I had, you know, if this was way off, then that car is going to go flying off to the side, which it might, might very well do anyhow. You just never know. All right, so let me go back to the road editor. And you'll notice over here on the right hand side, the top material, um, right now it has no material, right? So we want to make it look like a road. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to go to Road of Path, and I'm going to use Asphalt for the top. And then um, we have the bottom material, which, I mean, you can do bottom material, whatever. I mean, I guess for when people are underneath it, you don't want to, you don't want it to be empty, but who cares. <laughs> so uh, East Coast USA has some wood or some brick elements. So just for the sake of argument, I'm going to put wood on the bottom material. And then just because I'm a weird dude, I'm going to put brick on the side. And so you see we have our little bridge. All right. So now what I can do is um, save. So we do Control S to save. And unfreeze the physics and get the AI rolling. I get you rolling, man. All right, here we go. So now the AI should follow the same path that was already laid out. Come around here. Off through the grass. And there we go. <laughs> Do a little high jumping across that bridge. So as you can see, it crossed the bridge that I had laid out. And uh, we're gonna, what I'll do is I'm going to let this go around one more time. And then I'll slow down the camera. Look at that. Woohoo! Uh, I'll, I'll slow down the camera as it goes over those bridges just so you can get a better feel as to what's happening. Um, and so what's really cool, at least to me, is, um, I don't know, once you kind of get a peek behind the curtain and you sort of see what's going on, um, I, I don't know, it, it makes it, it gives you a different perspective, or it gives me anyway, a different perspective of BeamNG Drive for looking at how things happen in the game. Um, you know, when you're looking at uh, watching AI on different maps and you're um, playing around with maps that already exist or someone else's map, and you can see the, the kind of that the AI path logic behind the scenes, um, I don't know, it just it gives you a, gives me anyway, an appreciation for uh, what's all involved. So anyhow, here we go. AI following the path to go over a bridge Ooh, and under the bridge there we go <laughs> so that's it there it is so um i just wanted to whoops wrong key. Uh, i just wanted to uh let you guys take a look at that and again this may not be the quote unquote best way or heck for that matter the right way to do uh, ai with bridges um but it's to me it's it's a it's an easy way you lay out the path that you want it to take you put in your bridge and you call it good. Um, the uh, over here, where um, where I played around with some water, you can see now I did this on my own. So as you can see, it's definitely got issues. <laughs> there's, 
there's a problem with water, which is why I'm not doing a water tutorial. Uh, I did that on my own. Uh, High Def and I were not able to uh, get connected because my uh, we had a storm blow through and my internet went down. So by the time I was able to get everything going, our schedules didn't meet up. But I promise we will be uh, working together once again uh, to continue bringing you a tutorial. And my guess is he's going to be like, nah, dude, you there's a different way to do AI and bridges and, and how to make a bridge actually look like a bridge. So I'm sure that will be in a future video for sure. But anyhow, just wanted to show you that so you guys can take a look. Awesome stuff. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope this helps someone who's working on their own map and wants to play around with bridges. Oh my. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on BNG Drive. Whoa.